Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all good today. So today's video is an exciting one because I will be reviewing the new iHeart Revolution Tasty Water, I was gonna say Tasty Watermelon, Tasty Marshmallow Collection. So I've got the Tasty Marshmallow eyeshadow palette. It's super adorable, cannot wait to get into that. And then we've got the Blending Sponge Duo, which are two blending sponges, which literally look like marshmallows. And I got the lip gloss, just a clear one. Oh, it's in the shade Sugar Cookie. And then I picked up one of their hot chocolate highlighters, which I cannot wait to get into. I think they had two highlighters. I think I picked the lightest one. I don't know what shade. Oh, don't know what shade it is. So yeah, this is their newest Christmas edition collection that they've got going on. I tried to order this as quick as possible, but for some reason, Express Delivery gave it me three days after. So. Not sure what happened there. So yeah, if you like these type of videos, I do do a lot of iHeart Revolution testing videos, especially the new and upcoming palettes, then carry watching, hit subscribe, and yeah, let's get on with this review. Right, so I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette. This packaging is the cutest thing ever. I thought their cutest packaging would have been the Tasty Gingerbread, but I think this is gonna beat it, so. Look how adorable this is. Literally got a gingerbread house on the package design. Um, so yes, we've got 18 shades of intense press pigment. It says this costs £10. I got it from the Revolution website, but I believe you can get it on ASOS as well. So you could check it out on there. I'm gonna carefully open this because I don't want to damage the cuteness. And I always say this in every single Tasty palette review. I absolutely adore their Tasty palettes. It's got a silicone feel to it on the front. And this is what it looks like. How adorable. So we've got a lot of shimmers in here to play with, which I don't mind. And we've got quite a few neutral mattes in there. I have no idea what kind of look to do because this is gonna be a total first impression. This is my first time actually seeing it in front of me. It's only just come, so I just wanted to dip dive straight into it. Um, oh, that tinsel shade looks so cute. I'll just show you the swatches now. So here are the swatches. Honestly, all the shimmers just applied so nice onto the skin. This color story is so on point for a gingerbread house. Like. It so represents the front page of the palette, I'd say. So I do think they've got the color story bang on point. Um, the mattes look nice. Look, they look like they swatch nice. Yeah, so I cannot wait to see how these perform on my eyes, but first impressions of the swatches, they are quite rated, yeah. Okay, so I've just had some time to look at the palette and just see what kind of shades I wanna use. I figured out I wanna go with Showstopper shade, and Candyland and Dreamscape. So I'm gonna focus on those three shades. Not playing with any mattes today, I'm just gonna go with the shimmer. So I'm gonna start off with Showstopper here, which is a purple. Figure out what kind of brush to go with it. I'm just using a Zoeva 239 brush. All right, let's see what this is gonna be like. Ooh, that comes out very pink. Okay, so far, a very nice shimmer pink. Have no issues here with the shimmer. Applies on very nice. I'm just using that showstopper shade again and just put it on the low lash line. So I am gonna blend it slightly with one of the iHeart Revolution blend brushes. I'm just gonna blend that upwards. Okay, now I'm gonna go with a different shimmer. So I was thinking of going into Dreamscape, which is a very frosty lilac shade, I would say. I'm gonna use my finger for this because it is a shimmer and I do prefer to use my finger with um, applying shimmer on the middle of the lid. So let's go with that. Oh yeah, that is freaking adorable. Um, I'm so, t you know what, I've changed my mind now. I wanna go whimsical. I think whimsical would look really cute with this look if I just pop that in the inner corner. Um, let's try that. Whimsical. I'm putting that in the inner corner. Yes! That's so cute. I'm gonna add Dreamscape again. Just on the middle of the lid. Those three shimmers look really nice together. 
yeah so if you want more pigment go in with your finger again and just try to like blend the colors within each other yeah how cute's that so now for right in the inner corner i think i'm gonna go with icicle more of a silver tone so icicle pop that in there make it icy wish it was more brighter so i'm gonna go with snowfall this white here hopefully that can be a bit brighter for this look yeah and the only thing with shimmers i do find that they will um disappear quite easily um with an eye loop so i don't know how long this would last on my eyes so for the brow highlight i think i'm gonna go with snowfall again just because i know that works quite well yeah very bright that is wow it works okay so i know i've only used three shades i am going to come back to this palette don't you worry i just want to do a quick first impressions um but i really like this eye makeup so i really want to do it on the other eye um but yeah so far first impressions really like it i am going to do another video on it um maybe play with the mattes in this palette but for now i'm happy with it so I am going to go off camera, put my primer on, and then we can test out using some foundation with these sponges and maybe concealer as well because these are so cute. These sponges cost six pounds and they are freaking marshmallows. Okay, does the does the palette smell like marshmallow? It's got a sweet scent, but I can't identify the marshmallow. I was just checking if the blending sponges have it. Um so yeah. How adorable literally look like marshmallows um i'm gonna wet these see if they grow in size but this is what it looks like and let's see if they will grow okay so let's try these sponges so i just used the ciate london extraordinary foundation in the shade silk i think i'm gonna use the white one for the concealer and then the pink one for the foundation so i like that they've chose different colors now let's see what we're working with. It's not the softest sponge I've ever tried. It is quite hard bouncing onto the skin. So already it's got a point down for that. It's blended everything in. It's just not the comfiest sponge that I've used. Yeah, it's just a bit tough on the skin, I'd say. Shame that. Not my favourite sponges, but however the... The cuteness of it is definitely there. Um, kind of wish I haven't ruined it now with all my foundation on it, but we'll move on. Let's try, let's try using the white with the concealer. So concealer, I'm just using the L'Oreal Inflammable shade Cashmere. I don't think this white sponge, just by looking at the shape of it, is gonna work well under the eyes. So let's see. Mm. Yeah, I, I kind of wish it, it was a flat surface. Uh, for example, this is the Miss Piggy sponge. It's got a flat surface there. I wish it had that, but of course it's a marshmallow. You can't really do that. Um, it's just a bit difficult getting into the corner. That's all. It's blending it fine though, I'd say. Just a bit awkward getting under the eye region. Not my favorite sponges, but they're cute. So I'm not really fussed. I'm gonna use my different sponge for this. I just had to butt in. Um, I found a good use for this sponge and I think it's gonna be good for powder because I'm enjoying it more for patting in my powder. Maybe because it is a lot dense and denser sponges works well with a powder, I'd say. So yeah, found a use for it, which I'm happy about. So for my bronzer, I went in with the chocolate caviar from I Heart Revolution and for blush i've got in my powder on my top so for my blush i went to my new favorite blush from my heart revolution this is the ruby cocoa blush really liking this so now on to this chocolate hot chocolate highlighter they did have two i did go for the lightest one which was available so let's see i don't know if it's got a shade it just says glazed goodies so let's take a look at this 
so adorable and you get a sheet on it and it's got like a snowflake imprinted on the pan which i really do like i haven't seen anything like this from i Heart revolution actually or anywhere else um let's give this a swatch so let's see oh wow i like it so let's get it on my face shall we um i'm just gonna use a fan brush quite a bit of fallout You know what, it's not too blinding, but I really like that as a highlighter. I don't want something, like sometimes I find with the Colourpop, what's it called? Uh, Flexitarian highlighter can be way too blinding. I have to be careful of it, but I think this is just like the nice amount. Um, it's not too glittery. It's got specks of glitter, but it's not over the top. But you're gonna expect this anyway because it is a Christmas range and you know snowflake glitter glycerine um it just kind of makes sense and I think this is the perfect Christmas highlighter for the season it's got like a frosty look to it but not in the tone so yeah I like that <laughs> I do like the glitter in it I don't mind a glittery highlighter um yeah I'm happy with that that's really cute. So yeah, really enjoyed that. Okay, so now on to the lip gloss. Now, there was a, a bit of variety. I think mm, I think there was three shades. This one just spoke to me because it's pink. And yeah, even the lip glosses are an adorable packaging too. Um, they've got marshmallows on the lid. This is in the shade Sugar Cookie, which sounds my cup of tea. So I'm gonna try this on without a lipstick. Oh, that's a different day foot I've seen from I Heart Revolution. It's very flat. So this looks like a hot pink. Does it, have, does it smell? Oh my god. This literally smells like the Christmas cookie Yankee candle. Wow. That is spot on. Like that. Does the highlighter have a scent? No, the highlighter smells exactly the same as the eyeshadow palette. But this lip gloss. That is, yeah, Yankee, can Yankee Candle Sugar Cookie. So let me just swatch it, see if you can see. Yeah, it's a very frosty pink. This was probably best on top of a lipstick, but let's just see what it looks like without. Yeah, it is clear. This would look a lot better on top of a lipstick, so maybe I should a lipstick on okay so i'm thinking of just go with the theme um i'm using the gingerbread lipstick this was featured in the high heart revolution tc hamper set i think this might look okay but i might as well go with the christmas theme so let's see what this lip gloss looks like so it just adds a bit of dimension to the lips it makes it not look as flat i'd say it's not overly pigmented but i'm kind of glad because i don't go for really pigmented pink lipsticks it just adds a shine and a little pink hue which i prefer i wouldn't want a bright lipstick anyway i think it just looks nice on top of a lipstick so yeah just makes matte lipsticks look a bit more interesting um yeah feels real comfortable doesn't feel sticky yeah i have no issues so i'm gonna hop off camera put some mascara on, do something with my brows, and then we can come back and talk about this range. So guys, here's the completed look using the Tasty Marshmallow Collection from I Heart Revolution. I just think this is such a cute eye look. Um, yeah, I've only used three shades, but first impressions, I'm giving it a yes from me. I definitely need to do another look, like I said. I wanna play with some mattes next time, so let me know if you want me to do another look with this palette. Love the shimmers. You can't go wrong with shimmers. They just blend with each other. Um, I had no issues with that. I was surprised by the highlighter, you know. This chocolate highlighter. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. Um, so yeah, this is in the shade Blaze Goodies. I think that is the shade. I kind of wish it had a marshmallow scent, but it doesn't. But yeah, it is on the glittery side, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's too glittery. 
Um, I just think it's a really nice amount actually. It, it gives the cheekbones a nice highlight, I'd say. And I like the nose. You know what? This is going to go in my everyday um, makeup drawer because I do actually really like it the more I look at it. So yeah, it's a defo yes from me for the highlighter. And the lip gloss, I've got no issues with this. It applies very nice. Um, it is a clear gloss. It's not going to be the exact same colour as you see in the container, but it's just a personal preference. I prefer it when it's not that pigmented. Um, yeah, it's easy to reapply. Maybe if you did do a double coat, maybe the colour would show up more. I think it does. So if you just want to tone it down, I'd say apply one layer. If you want to ump up the pigment of the colour, then I'd say put a double coat on because I'd say that's made a slight difference. Um, let me see if I can do it again. Yeah, defo, apply multiple coats if you want to see more of the colour. But for me, I think I'd just prefer the one coat. Um, but yeah, applies nice on top of a lipstick. Yeah, nothing else to say. The only thing I'm not too impressed with is the duo blending sponges such a cute idea i'll give them that like um yeah for blending out concealer and foundation it's not my favorite sponge to use um i kind of already knew that before because i'm just so used to using miss piggy i found a great use for these to pat on powder so i will still wet the sponges and then i'll go in my powder and then pat my face i found a good use for that but everything else, maybe a blush could work. A liquid blush. I might have to try that in the next video. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna say these are the, my least favorite, but the cuteness novelty, it's there. And I think that is everything. I hope you enjoyed today's testing video of the TC Marshmallow range. Do let me know, did you pick any of these items up? What are your favourites? And was there anything that you didn't get on with? I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, my final thoughts, absolutely love this. I would definitely recommend it if you are a High Art Revolution fan. And if you want something Christmassy right now, I definitely recommend this range. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here today. There will be a lot more content coming. So if this is the kind of video that you like, then hit subscribe. I assume that I Heart Revolution will bring out more stuff for Christmas. So keep your eyes peeled. I do have the Simpsons range in my basket at the minute i just don't want to pay for it yet um until i until i get paid that's on hold at the minute i hear the matrix is coming out uh revolution club with matrix is coming out on wednesday so i'm gonna have a look at that weigh up whether i want the simpsons or the matrix because i don't want both hmm. we'll just have to see so yeah i'm gonna leave it there i hope you have a lovely day now it's time watching this and i shall see you in the next one